time. Victory! Or death. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll get this. Why the warriors are awesome. Starts well from the beginning. Yep. Right from the womb. Only the toughest will make it through the so-called warrior trials that will either make or break you as a warrior. Very true. The leveling process. If you're playing solo, that is. Leveling will be a challenge in it on itself for any warrior. Now granted, no matter the class you play in classic, leveling will always prove to be a challenge for any solo player. Yep. Pulling Unle more than one. Unless you're a hunter, and then it's not a problem at all. You can just play and do whatever you want. Okay. Mob and not being ready for it can lead to a wipe. Only warlocks and hunters with their pets have it the easiest, and specs like frost mages can also do wonders with oh, hiding. Yeah. But warriors, this warriors is an axe invasion. always have to charge in and hope for the best. Slow attacks. Yep. Constant misses. Backpedaling. Constantly getting hit. Yep. Crying for any drop or hint of rage to use any of your abilities. Yep. All of that will drive any warrior to its knees. Yes. Having to stop and eat every few pulls. Every pull. Fighting to mobs at the time will almost always lead to a certain death yep. on the lower levels. Unless lucky with crits or CDs like retaliation or right. passing by priest. But as warriors, we will persist and we will endure. Once we manage to get out of that hell that is the first 20 to 30 levels, first we 60 will be levels. rewarded handsomely. You have the first 60 levels suck, and then whenever you're 60, you can actually play the game. Uh, but until then, yeah, they suck. For our valiant efforts. Getting abilities like Whirlwind, Mortal yep. Strike, will feel awesome at any epic piece. But nothing shall beat the trial that is to get the so-called Berserker stance, especially as an Alliance player. Most yep. regular abilities in Classic That's comes true. from the trainer, especially with for me. that is ever so precious to you. But some, like stances, come from a quest, and yep. the Berserker stance embarks you on yet another journey, leading across continents all to reach an island in the middle of nowhere in the Barren Sea, fighting against a group of other warriors, fight club style, That's only right. to come victorious and be awarded the coveted Berserker stance. Now you do more right. damage, but also take more, opening a vast array of new abilities for you to use, like Intercept and Pummel. Now you can finally use a charge-like ability in combat. You can Look finally at right reach here. Look at that damage right there. mages. I'm already... But the warrior trials... Look at that guy right there. I just want to show you guys something right there. That guy right there... I'm already doing that much damage. Like, whenever I get gear, it's going to be disgusting. Like, I'm literally going to be, like, two or three shotting people at a time. Uh, I'm not even kidding. That's what's going to happen. The warrior journey and challenges doesn't stop there. Oh, yep. no, no, no. We are still offered one of the most iconic and most badass quest lines in the game. The okay. whirlwind weapon, or axe. Let's I never real. did this one. A quest chain that you can pick up at level 30, but that realistically time. can only be completed 10 levels later. Yep. But if you have friends, you can complete it earlier. Meaning that you will get a weapon in your low 30s that was meant for level 40. Meaning that the days of fearing any mob you great, encounter dude. are gone. It was as fucking you get great, those dude. Those glorious heads and creds. It was so it fucking isn't good, just dude. The daunting premise of the large span of levels that this quest that damage, presents dude. to you in terms of difficulty, just but on fucking delete it. Is a quest that will take hours and hours to complete, even with help. Having you travel all over Azeroth in search of items that will need to obtain this prestigious weapon, and just like yep. Berserker stance, you will feel rewarded comparable to getting a legendary piece in retail wow these are just a few examples better. that makes the warrior leveling feel awesome yeah it feels better like what do you mean how annoying difficult it can feel you have these moments during your journey that will make it all worthwhile okay. and then you will feel like a badass you will feel like well a warrior goddamn right you're goddamn motherfucking right dude Look at this damage. This is gonna be me right here. See that? That's me. 
I I'm gonna get this gear. Gameplay in classic WoW throughout. I I I'm just gonna fucking I like the damage that I'm gonna be able to do as like a as a warrior at level 60 is actually gonna be disgusting. It, it really is. It's gonna be absolutely disgusting. I think I think it's gonna be funny how good it is. Okay, just a second. Let me go and just. Uh, we all in an invisible queue. Uh, we're waiting to get on, man. Uh, that's all there is to it here. We're just waiting to get on. Uh, I'll try to load back in one more time, but uh, we'll see what's going to happen, okay? Okay. Uh, people, yeah, people literally report me for hacking or, like, uh, uh, changing, like, values, like, changing the, 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 the game files because I'll be doing so much damage. All classes can be easily mocked by one to two button masters or yes. auto attack andies in the case of attribution paladins. And warriors auto attack. Can Wait, they're using my on thing. that meme category somewhat. Yeah. Mortal Strike or Bloodthirst, Heroic Strike, Whirlwinds with the occasional overpower or slam. Yep. Stance dancing and the use of macros are the most complex things you will find on a warrior. Yep. Got to Sunder Armor more, am I right? These statements can be easily exaggerated and turned into memes, but warriors, due to stance dancing by having a lot of abilities locked behind these states of combat, does make the warrior fall on that higher skill ceiling category. Very true. Opinion. Anyone? I've been can trying start to tell people this for years. Whirlwinds, mortal, and a heroic strike, Absolutely. bloodthirst, but those with Absolutely. better skill stand out from their peers. Be yes. At DPSing, B at stance dancing yes. or even tanking. And Absolutely. in PvP is where this skill will be showcased the most. Sure, I love me some old school rogue and mage PvP videos. Naked rogue PvP videos are the best. Or even shaman ones. But none shall top the awesomeness that was warriors PvP videos. That's Just true. make sure to bring They're a the pocket healer, an OP weapon, and they're the actually the best. With, of course, some disturbed or Linkin Park songs Absolutely. in the background as the cherry on top. Cut my life These into pieces. Timeless PvP videos led the rise to the first WoW YouTube celebrities like right. Pat or more yep. prominently Swifty. Again, I'm sure. However, it isn't yeah, just PvP that warriors ruled over. Whenever yeah, I zone in, we're going to make the UBRS group. In PvE, group. taking aside the struggles of leveling, yep. warriors proved to be the best of the best on both the roles they could perform. Want the best DPS, sir? You guys hear that? I'll, I want to go ahead and just go back. Listen to this. Listen to this. Leveling, warriors proved to be the best of the best on both the roles they could perform. One and then the third spec, arms, is the best PvP spec, too. So you're playing, I, I'm online. Guys, I'm literally online. I don't know if you guys can notice behind me, but I'm literally online. I'm walking back to my corpse right now. Uh, uh, warriors are the best class. That's all there is to it. And, and I, I want, you know what? Let's just, let's look right here. Look at the damage meter right there. The threat meter. I got to take a piss and then we're going to start this up, okay? Okay, sorry about that, boys. I'm back. Okay, we're good? We're good. All right. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Real quick, before we finish the video, I want to make my group right now for UBRS. And that way, everybody will be able to group up. And by the time that you guys are all here, I'll be able to uh, to start the video, okay? And uh, while everybody runs over. Okay, just give me a second. Let me go ahead and start inviting everybody, and uh, we're going to get this done, okay? Uh, Cass. Okay, Cass is getting invited. Uh, let's see. Paladini is getting invited, obviously, and who else is getting invited? 
Okay, uh, if I need a Slowbo. Slowbo is getting invited. Okay, uh, invite. Okay, Zendi. I'm going to invite Zendi. Okay, just give me one second. Let me make this a, a raid. Okay, oh, and if you suck, you get kicked out, by the way. I forgot to say. Okay, uh, who else are we missing here? <sighs> All right, Slowbo. Let me make sure Slowbo got the invite. Okay, and Roy. Slash uh, invite... Roy, okay, yeah, obviously need Roy. Okay, and I want to make sure we have everybody here. McConnell won't be here. Is Seal here? Uh, invite Seal. Um, okay, Seal is not online. Okay, just give me one second. Miku, yeah, we're going to invite Miku as well. Okay, and we need another healer. No, we need one more healer to do this, okay, guys? The best DPSers bring warriors. That's the right. best tanks bring warriors. There are exceptions, of course, yep. and isn't without its downsides. Warriors can This video right here changed my life. Whenever I saw this warrior for the first time, this video right here, I was so goddamn fucking happy. Like, I... I remember watching this video. I remember this video. It had uh, Animal I Have Become by Three Days Grace. I can get like I'm, let me see. I'm let me see if I can find it. Uh I told you, dude. I fucking told you, dude. I watched this fucking video back in the day. I remember this so goddamn well, man. Like I saw this and I was like, what the fuck? This guy is a god. Okay, gnomed? Yeah, actually fucking gnomed. You're goddamn right, man. We'll get that damn- we'll get all those fucking buffs too, okay? I just want to show you guys that real quick. ...and be extremely gear dependent in order to perform well. You know exactly what video that is. But that downside also has its upside. Yeah. Being extremely gear dependent mm -hmm. means that as classic progresses and gear gets better and better, yep. warriors are just gonna hit harder and harder. They Being will. PvE or PvP. That's true. But it doesn't stop there. Rage, the resource <sighs> that you so hated yep. while leveling, barely giving you enough to click your glorified it just gives you more and more, doesn't it? with gear will become ever more abundant. And while mages, warlocks, and even hunters have to struggle and manage their mana in the most pathetic ways, mm -hmm. for us warriors, you hear that pathetic? Well, we can just keep on hitting harder and harder. You never stop. With the only concern being aggro from how much damage you are dealing. That's right. To then finally reach those oh so sweet executes. Like you, you, you'd be like an execute machine. You know, like you're looking for people. Twenty percent. You see somebody at twenty percent. Execute. See somebody at twenty percent. Execute. 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 Then you have tank. true. Sure, paladins Very and true. druids could tank to some extent, but no yeah. spec could reach the skill and toolkits the warrior. That was a great video. Possessed, and you didn't even have to be specced into protection to do it. Sure. Sender armor memes are great, and to some extent, yep. that will be our main focus. But actually, having to manage aggro, I can't and wait what till I get the to press I'm gonna be so happy. Time, managing rage, managing what mobs you hit, managing your stances yep. makes tanking in classic, especially as a warrior, a far more skilled role than any tank in current WoW. You will be grateful. I don't know about that. I, I, I don't know about that because the the truth is like yes obviously you have to be uh you have to be good but is it more difficult than playing in current wow I don't know about that man that seems really really uh, like that there's no way like uh it's up again well I don't know if it's up again yeah guys try to zone back in if you're back in uh try to log back in okay uh it seems like we're okay invite uh Smitty, okay. Smitty, log back in. Just message me. We'll keep going, okay, again? For a tank that will be able to grab each and every mob. You will be grateful for a tank that will survive the toughest boss or trash pull. And in the end, that tank will always be a warrior. That's true. There's not much to dislike about It's because they're the best. Play. Unless, of course, it's not for your personal taste. Because you're a pussy they ass bitch. They were amazing at raiding in either roles with all specs viable in some way or another. Absolutely. Amazing in PvP. And One amazing of the best. in dungeons and always needed for that content. Look at those fucking they are buffs. Pain Holy to level, shit. Yes, but with amazing reward systems. Wow, look at those buffs. Rage 
can be an annoying resource until oh my you get God. decent gear with heads, grits, and the like. Dude, look at but this the damage. most annoying thing about warriors has got to be the weapon skills. Being able to be the master at arms yep. and wield any weapon in a game, or even being able to dual wield with yep. the right gear as Fury is awesome. But unlike rogues, which might change from daggers to swords with the occasional mace, or hunters from guns to bows, warriors will be changing from two-handed maces, axes and swords to one-handed swords, maces and axes to daggers if you're doing some weird maximizing. Yeah. Meaning that you will be forced constantly to go out of your way farming mobs mindlessly to level your weapon skill in the Eastern Plaguelands every time you change your weapon. Miss. I spent like literally 20 minutes, 30 minutes last night killing mobs in the stockades to level up my sword skill. I, I, I didn't even give a fuck. I was like, I'm just going to level up something. I'm going to do this right now. Get this out of the way. After miss, after dodge. But we are warriors. That's we right. We spent our entire leveling process sitting and eating, dying at every miss pull. Yep. We will endure, right? Hello, darkness, right. my old friend. <laughs> That's sad. Yes, we, that's we, well, what do you mean by that? things that makes playing a warrior yeah, Of course we will. It's not all rainbows. Yes, Being it is. Being guided by a skilled frost mage or hunter, okay. especially knowing that you could almost one-shot him if you could get freaking close with your execute. And two, absorb shields. Absorbs means no rage. Means punching your keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> I remember this day, dude. I, I was actually in I I was in this clip. So we were playing Fortnite and Train's keyboard wouldn't work. And I knew exactly what this was, man. Like I might, let me see if it shows me in the clip. Yep. Okay. Dude, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, 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 no MMO oh, or God, RPG dude. goes without cool looks. What a fucked up day at arguably the best gear in Classic. That's true. The tier sets from every tier were simply unique and awesome. They're the best class. Especially compared to other classes from tier 1 to tier 3. They were Look huge gear, and properly fitting a warrior. And that is without mentioning all the huge ass weapons like the Ash Candy, mm -hmm. Corrupted Ashbringer, and so many more, and even legendaries are all catered towards the warrior. In PvP, yes. once again, we were met with iconic gear that will put fear in the heart of your enemies. Anybody with knows that gear. Marshall or high Everybody knows that gear. Armor and weapons that in terms of... Does anybody know what the what the male gear looks like or the, the cloth gear for this, the Grand Marshal gear does? Maybe you do a little bit, but like, do you really care? Fuck no, because it's cloth gear. Who gives a shit? Nobody cares what that looks like. The only people that care... Uh, the plate armor is what shows, what shows up. That's what stands out, man looks still holds up to this very same day and it isn't just in-game gear that looks awesome on warriors even while leveling sets such as the scarlet set remains yes. iconic weapons like the whirlwind axe ravager or even the helmet from razor fan is all gear that we'll remember getting even years later and make you feel like a badass for it yes you warriors will. are not a perfect class yes you fucking classic. will Many might argue rogues and mages can perform and do better than warriors. But they pretty damn close and it ticks the boxes for everything that makes you feel good when playing a game. Okay. So why not a warrior? I for sure going for one and finally be able to feel like a tank and, well, a warrior again. Feel like As a champion. to the spammy mess that is today. As always, thank you for watching and do let me know what you think of Warriors in Classic and what class are you going to play come 27th of August. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you all again very soon. So this is probably one of the most informative videos that I've seen in a long time. I think it was very, very well put together. Um, the best part about it, I think, was the part where he said that Warriors took a lot more skill than a lot of the other classes because it's something that you don't really hear said a lot because many people don't want to, uh, I, I guess I can admit that or, you know, be okay with that. But everybody, I think, does know that it's true. Uh, warriors are probably the, the most skilled class, require the most skill. So it's really good to see this actually being the case and, uh, you know, people actually admitting what everybody knows is true. 
Uh, let, let, let's look right here. Level 27 was just starting to lose hope. Excellent video. See that? Level 12 warrior struggling real hard. I'm a solo player, but I won't give up. See, that's the attitude of a warrior. Like that, they don't give up. Leveling a warrior in vanilla, as you said, can just break you. But there are really some beauty in the process. Warriors have no magic. They have no divine blessing. They are normal people. Just somebody with the will of becoming stronger. And they, they have to put more effort than anybody. But hell, after this journey, you certainly will become stronger from a nobody to probably the best class. Very, very true. Extremely fucking true. All right, let's go down this way. Uh, let's see, just use personal heroes? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, just give me one second here. Let me go ahead and I'll uh, see if I can load back in. And uh, so I'm stuck at logging in. So uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, guys.